torsion we are into the first question i'll read the question here determine the size of solid shaft to transmit 200 kilowatts with maximum shear stress of 70 megapascal full stop if the shaft rotates at 20 rpm and at 2000 rpm now this is the question which we it is 20000 rpm this is the question which we have so whatever is given i'll write that in the form of data here they are saying us to determine the size of solid shaft size of solid shaft means the diameter of the shaft to transmit 200 kilowatts power this 200 kilowatts we will convert it into watts so it is 200 into 10 raised to 3 watts with maximum shear stress of 70 it is fs 70 megapascal if the shaft rotates at the first condition is speed i'll say n1 it is 20 rpm and the second condition is speed is 20000 rpm so this is the question which we have in front of us now based on this we will solve the question now the solution is Since power is given, I'll say that since power transmitted by solid shaft, the formula of power, it is T is equal to 2 pi nt upon 60. I will highlight this formula. Here, since it is a solid shaft, so I'll draw the cross section for it. And this diameter is what we have to calculate here. Now I'll say that therefore power is given. The value is 200 into 10 raised to 3. RPM first it is 20. So therefore, T is equal to 200 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 60 divided by 2 pi into 20. So here I will be getting my answer of torque as it comes out to be 95.5 into 10 raised to 3 Newton meter and I'll keep it in terms of Newton mm. So it is 95.5 into 10 raised to 6 Newton millimeter. Now once I know this value of torque, as we can see in this problem, Fs, shear stress is given. So I will be using the strength criteria. I'll say that Since by strength criteria, we have the formula as T by J is equal to Fs by R. Therefore, T I have just calculated it is 95.5 into 10 raised to 6. J is the polar moment of inertia which is pi by 32 d raised to 4 fs shear stress is given in the question that is 70 megapascal so 70 newton per mm square radius it is diameter divided by 2 so finally here i can cancel this d this becomes d cube here i have 2 this is 16 so therefore I will say that d cube it will shift onto the other side is equal to 95.5 into 10 raised to 6 divided by pi by 16 into 70. So from this if I calculate the value and find the cube root my answer of d comes out to be 
190, 190.8 mm. This is my first answer. And the next part of this question is they are saying that the RPM is 20,000. At first, we have seen RPM was 20, now it is 20,000. So, for 20,000, we have to calculate the diameter of shaft. I'll say that again, since power transmitted by shaft it is given by 2 pi nt upon 60 so power remains same here the value which is given in the question it is 200 into 10 raised to 3 rpm is 20,000 divided by 60 and here we have T. So from this I can calculate T is equal to 200 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 60 divided by 2 pi into 20,000. So therefore here I will be getting my answer of torque as 95.5 Newton meter which I will convert so it becomes 95.5 into 10 raised to 3 Newton millimeter. Now again I will use the strength criteria I will say that since by strength criteria T by J is equal to Fs by R Therefore, torque I have just now calculated it is 95.5 into 10 raised to 3. J is pi by 32, D raised to 4, Fs is 70, radius is diameter by 2. So, therefore, D cube will be equal to 95.5 into 10 raised to 3 here I this 70 would be there in the denominator so pi by 16 into 70 so from this if I calculate numerator upon denominator the value I will be getting and after taking the cube root the diameter comes out to be 19.08 mm this is my second answer so here we have calculated two different values of diameter based on two different values of RPM. With this we complete the question.